Hello and welcome to Drugs Plus. Whether you're here for exam revision or just general interest, I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support this channel so that I'm able to continue creating this content. In this video, I'm going to discuss the components of blood. Blood is made up of around 55% plasma, which consists of extracellular fluid and blood-specific proteins such as albumin and clotin factors, and around 45% blood cells, which includes red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. Red blood cells are also known as erythrocytes. These cells are 6 to 9 micrometers wide and are responsible for transporting oxygen from the lungs to the rest of the body. There are 4 to 6 million erythrocytes per microliter of blood, and 3 million new cells are produced by bone marrow every second. These cells have a biconcave shape to allow for a high surface area to volume ratio to maximise oxygen absorption. They also contain no nucleus or other organelles to leave room for maximal haemoglobin. White blood cells are separated into five types. Lymphocytes make up around 20 to 40% of these and are 6 to 15 micrometers wide. These cells feature a large oval nucleus and exist as either T or B cells of the adaptive immune system. Neutrophils are the most numerous type of white blood cell, making up 60 to 70%. These have multilobe nuclei, are between 12 and 14 micrometers wide, and contain large microbicidal granules which are used to kill engulfed bacteria and degrade extracellular matrices. Eosinophils make up only a small proportion of white blood cells in healthy patients, but are greatly increased in asthmatics. These cells feature a bilobed nucleus and are between 12 and 17 micrometers wide. They also have large granules which contain substances to fight inflammatory reactions. The least numerous type of white blood cell are the basophils, making up only 1%. These cells are between 14 and 16 micrometers wide and are the precursor to mast cells. The largest type of white blood cell are the monocytes, which are between 16 and 20 micrometers wide. These make up 2 to 8% of white blood cells and feature kidney-shaped nuclei. Monocytes travel to peripheral tissues and become macrophages, where they are tasked with engulfing foreign pathogens. And finally, platelets. Also known as thrombocytes, these cells are responsible for the clotting of blood. These are the smallest type of blood cell, at 2 to 4 micrometres in width, and are by far the most abundant. For more information on platelets, you can see my video on antiplatelet therapies for arterial thrombosis, the link for which I'll provide below. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support this channel so I'm able to continue creating this content. I'll be back with more pharmacology videos soon.